What is going on legends? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer because this video is gonna be the hardest video that we've done by far. And I'm not gonna say go back and watch 30 of my uh, introduction to JavaScript videos. I'm gonna try to spell this out as best as I can and make it as easy to learn as possible. But in this video, we're gonna be talking mainly about JavaScript. And in HTML5, there's a tag we use called Canvas and it's used for gradients and animations and transitions and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video and do in this video. So let's go to our index.html page. Where is our aside widget? Okay. Our new widget, I'm going to go ahead and just backspace that out and I'm going to go ahead and open up a new HTML5 tag and we're going to call it, set it to an ID called my canvas. And since we're going to be doing JavaScript, we need to put this in camel case. And this is what this is, camel case. When you have lower letter case and then the second word, for the second word, the first letter is uppercase. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out right here. Hopefully I can do this video the correct time, the first time through. Okay, so when dealing with JavaScript, we need to go ahead and create script tags just like that. And if this isn't making any sense, don't worry, just get through this video and the remainder of the videos will make sense. This is again just a, a, a deep end shot that I'm throwing you guys into. So I apologize beforehand. Okay, so what I want to do in here is JavaScript is a programming language and in programming languages we need to create variables. So I'm going to create a variable called C and I'm going to set it equal to document in JavaScript or jQuery. You need to set stuff by, by typing document dot get elements by ID which is by far the most popular function in JavaScript and what did we call it we called it my canvas in camel case just like that okay now I'm gonna create another variable and I'm gonna call it CTX or context for short and I'm gonna concatenate our C variable, so we're going to take all of this and how we add something in JavaScript or any programming language is with a period, just like that. And let's create, we need to use the JavaScript function called get context, and this is a, or a JavaScript property we need for manipulating images. So go ahead and type in get context in camel case. And our argument for this is 2D. This is going to be a 2 dimensional image. Sorry, just like that. Save this. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and create the gradient. And I just created a... I'm commenting out right now. Create gradient. Okay, so we need a new variable and I'm going to call it gradient, just for or GRD for short. And we'll set this equal to... We'll use this variable, so ctx, and now we need to use another JavaScript function, which is create radial gradient. Hang in there, guys. I know you guys are doing good. Stay with me. You guys are all going to be legends. And this is going to create a circular shape. And in our parameters, we need to give it some starting points and ending points and ending points for our radius and starting points for our radius. And there's six total. There's you think about it, there's two XY starting points. So X is obviously left to right, Y is top to bottom, a radius start, which is in the middle, two XY ending, and then the radius ending. And we're just gonna play around with this. We're just gonna play around with this. So we need to give it we give it 75 for my X starting, we'll give it 50 for Y starting, for radius, I'll give it just five for X ending, I'll give it, I don't know, I'm just throwing numbers out there. 60 and for radius ending, I will give it 100, I guess. And I'll make note, I'm gonna close that out, semicolon there. Creates a circular shape, okay. Now what I want to do, now I need to add color, position. Okay, so we're going to go down to our GRD variable. We're going to grab this variable and we're going to concatenate color stop, which is another JavaScript property. 
and we need to give it a starting point and we need to go ahead or a starting position and we need to give it a color and I'll just do red and I know what you guys are thinking You're like this is the craziest thing ever how come this isn't making sense trust me if I can learn JavaScript you guys can learn JavaScript and if it's not making sense that just means I'm doing a bad job explaining it but keep in mind you guys don't know JavaScript yet. This is just you know me throwing you guys in the deep end. So just try to keep up and at least try to make sure you guys have the correct code. And let's go ahead and give it another color so we're able to differentiate just the red. And we'll go add color stop. I know you guys think I'm just making all these functions up, all these properties and methods like right here, right here right here and right here no but these are definitely functions properties and methods that the nerds upstairs at JavaScript have compiled and they're really just programs within a program they're just many functions just many programs so onward and upward with the borofill and we'll go ahead and set this to blue again it doesn't matter you guys can do green or red or black and white I'm gonna say this <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to fill the gradient. So I'm going to go fill the gradient. Just another comment, just like that. If I can correctly spell gradient. And let's use our CTX variable, CTX. And we're going to add on another JavaScript property. And it's called, or a method. And we'll call it style equals to GRD. Close that out. And last but not least, we'll let's go ahead and create a rectangle. Fill rect. And this requires four properties. Top right, top right, bottom left, I believe. I hope. And I'll bring up my script tag just like that. And let's save it and let's see what this looks like. That didn't work. Okay, let me go back and look at this. How come our red isn't getting pulled in here? Where is our red? I think it's right here. We have two zeros at one position. Now let's look at it. All right, there it is. Okay, so we just created a gradient in HTML5. That's not an image. That's not a picture we stole off Google Images. That's something we just created in JavaScript. And I know it's not that cool. You know, it's not a game. It's not a cool Angry Birds game we could play. But we just learned a little bit of JavaScript. In the next video, I want to talk a little bit more about um, animation and um, transition. And it's going to be a lot easier. Believe me, this is the hardest video of this tutorial. If you guys get through this, you guys are going to be legends, and you guys are going to be getting the best jobs in the market. All right, guys, good luck with this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.